there! Welcome to the world of travel! It's been a while since we posted our previous video, and there was a reason for it. I decided to take a three-month break from any kind of social media. I didn't post anything, I didn't spend a lot of time there, like five minutes or something. My plan was to focus on the ways to help our economy stand, provide the financial aid to the Ukrainian armed forces, and be financially stable for the upcoming spending. Thereby, I had to work hard and earn money. Also, I've got a lot of changes during the summer. Some of them were positive and some of them not. Anyway, after three months of inactivity, we're back on YouTube and we are back to European. Roma and I were supposed to come back in July or August. However, we didn't due to family circumstances. It's been two weeks since we arrived and from now on I would like to share our life here and how it changed. So our blog becomes more lifestyle and hopefully some of you guys will like these kind of videos as well. Roma and I stayed in my hometown after our vacation from European. It was pretty much safe there and I was able to see my family every day. My brother was also coming back to the capital with his cat. And fortunately, both cats were keeping quiet all the way. We finally returned to European and here is our apartment. We rented an apartment for now, and to me, it looks lovely. Here are a few shots from there. We couldn't wait to take a walk in the city center the same day. I must say that after all the horrifying things that happened in European during the occupation, the town looks alive. People try to live their lives and rebuild their homes. The week after, my brother decided to visit us and we were lucky to have sunny weather the whole day. Hence, we didn't waste our time and went exploring my favorite park in Irpin. I was always fascinated by this town and thereby decided to move here for many years ahead. bought my cousin, my little cousin, book, Martina. It's like a Harry Potter for me when I was a child. So it's the only book she didn't have in her collection. So hopefully it will be a nice gift for her birthday. At the end of week two, we had a chance to meet a great team that helps rebuild the towns of the cave region, including our beautiful European. The damage is massive. Being Ukrainian, I can't stop getting astonished by what this nation is capable of. Russian barbarians wanted to ruin these towns. Well, they can ruin the buildings, but they will never ruin the desire to be a free nation that has nothing to do with Russia. We'll rebuild our cities. We are already doing this. All they can do is destroy and damage. So pathetic.
How tired are we? From 1 to 10, it's it's 8 for me. What about you, Roma? From 1 to 10. 11. 11. Now it looks like the town is recovering from the pain. Life wins. It must win. But I also want to share a few shots of what we witnessed back in May. One month after Irpin was liberated, we decided to check what happened to the apartment we rented previously and all our stuff. I got an emotional breakdown when we just got to Irpin, to the bridge that was burned down. Then we saw this. I didn't care about our stuff. I was grateful to be alive. However, I hope my violin was safe. That's me crying when I saw my violin. Please stand with Ukraine and support our Ukrainian armed forces who are risking their lives to never let Russia go further to your homes.